Hi everyone and welcome back. So in the last set of videos we have already covered uh, these uh, first module. I mean in the first module we were planning to cover the basic building of microservice. Then the, with the help of NestJS and Express TypeScript. Like Express TypeScript and NestJS TypeScript. Then we were thinking about covering the 12 factor app which is required principles for building a simple microservice either with the nest.js and typescript so till now we have covered all these modules till now i will just add the video links but now the important part which we are going to talk about this now is the deployment let's say i have a simple express typescript app or maybe the nest.js app now how can i deploy them to a different platform so those are the important sections and after that we are going to cover microservice architecture and after that i'm going to cover uh, a lots of uh, different type of microservice architecture but before that now we have a service we need to deploy it somewhere so that we can use it we can expose this we are building a product so we need to build a uh, lots of microservices how we can deploy how we can build how we can set up a ci cd all those concepts we are going to look on into this so these are different deployment platform you can say into this okay i will just put the the major ones aws and you can also use like say because i am building my startup and i don't have a aws and azure account i just want to do something simple maybe heroku or digital ocean or something little bit uh, cheap and all right these are the different deployment platform and what do we have currently we have this monorepo we have this uh, pnpm monorepo now we need to learn let's say this contains multiple services because when you are building a SaaS product you might have you might be using some kind of a monorepo or you might have individual services let's say i have a multiple services multiple repositories you can have let's say auth service here i will just talk about a simple generic service express typescript service okay and then you can also be using a nest js typescript service okay these you want to deploy to these platforms so what all things you need that's the the agenda of this whole playlist this is going to be we are going to target a platform where we are going to deploy these things so let's say i want to deploy this to heroku i really don't have a aws azure account and i can talk about azure digital ocean and all these platform to deploy this obviously if i'm building a service then there are multiple so resources i can use first of all this is the workspace where i have let's say multiple microservices inside this so this is also a little bit challenging when you are using monorepo which contains a multiple folders like it has apps it has apps and then there is a packages how can you talk about uh, deploying the individual applications to the different platform right it's a single repository so how can you look into a particular folder or particular service and deploy it or you have individual repositories in that case the task will be a little easier because this is the whole code you need to deploy not the whole monorepo right so this is what we are going to talk about so let's say first we talk about the heroku and when we talk about these different uh, vendors to deploy you might also change the data set here i might uh, set i might i might be using let's say i may be using rds MySQL, let's say mysql rds mysql and postgres now aws and azure has their own names like aws world this is the rds relational database system which supports all the rds and then heroku heroku also supports the plugins where you can use the postgres and all even uh, aws provide a my mysql aurora and all the other platform or you can use a managed service dynamo db right 
and similarly digital ocean you might be buying the the rds from some outsource and then you could do the connections and all so this is where you will set up a database so understanding once you have everything ready how you can deploy these services to the different platform and we are going to use like say for aws we can use aws cdk that's a, a code as a service i mean you will be writing a code you will be building your infrastructure as a code it's the same as you use a, you might have used serverless framework or cloud formation you are writing a code you are writing a yml configuration or the code to build your infrastructure your database sns topic your containers and all everything is inside a code and you just deploy it your infrastructure will be built by the code you have written and will be deployment happens okay other than that important part is let's say we have covered only like okay how to build express typescript production ready app and nest js typescript production ready app you might want to explore the nest js core microservices which are relying which are using tcp grpc mqtt rmq all these protocols then you can just use this particular playlist because this code this content is already published and i, I don't want to duplicate this in this playlist you can look into this it, it talks about all about how you can use nest.js microservices because nest.js has this uh, microservice package that allow you to create a services that can communicate using tcp grpc uh, mqtt rmq kafka all these are pro uh, transport protocol or transport modes are available till now we have talked about only http based rest services written in express or written in nest.js but let's say you have a requirement you wanted to build a microservice that is going to deal with the grpc that is going to deal with the kafka rabbitmq then this is the right playlist for you i will add those videos in the in the same playlist so that you know okay if you have done the microservice basic rest based microservice this is the platform where you can learn okay how can i build a microservice which is using kafka rabbitmq grpc tcp and all because you might need a synchronous communication between two different services event based microservices then you might use a kafka and rabbit mq or uh, mqtt based uh, transport mode between two services so this is the playlist i will be adding the merging the videos not adding so this is li like the existing content and i don't want it to duplicate so i will be adding those videos and then here this is the important part which i haven't covered anywhere i will be talking about how you can deploy the nest cs app to the aws as a lambda I will talk about how you can deploy the AW, uh, Nest.js or um, Express TypeScript app on EC2 instance or on the container, on the ECS container and uh, at the end let's say I can also talk about Kubernetes cluster if I am able to spin up that cluster on my AWS account. Okay, so let's talk about that. First we will be doing a little bit on the Heroku, DigitalOcean and uh, let's say how we can deploy on an EC2 instance because if you can deploy an EC2 instance, then you can talk about deploying the service on DigitalOcean. You have a server bought from DigitalOcean. You wanted to run your APIs there, exposing the public IP. So let's talk about these things. We will do these manually, like through the AWS console or through the Heroku console by setting up the CI CD uh, using GitHub Actions. Okay. So I'm just preparing you the what we are going to cover in this second module. And this is what we are targeting.